Hey everyone, and welcome to what I believe is week 15 of the Olive Burning Test. Once again, I'll just let this run all the way through, and while it's running, I'll give you a brief description of uh, usage for the past week. So, with me being on night shift last week, uh, most usage has actually been by my son for gaming. Um, most, mostly Fortnite again, however, as you will have seen from some of the recent uploads, he has tried out um, a few of the other games, so there was a little bit of GTA as well as uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well. Um, each day probably had between, say, four, four and eight hours um, over, over the week, and we had, we had a few movies towards the end of the week as well, possibly three or four um, each night. Just letting it cycle through. Um, I'm trying to look at the actual screen itself to see if I can notice anything uh, on all the colours that I've been through so far. I'm not really noticing anything. Um, the main areas that we'll probably expect to see something is probably in the top left. Um, that's where the Fortnite hoods tend to be the most vivid. So you have the the three player logos. Uh, with almost like a flame burning behind them. So that's, if anywhere, I'd expect to see something in that top corner, possibly something in the, the top right. And for GTA, I, th I can't remember exactly, but I think the, the map is either bottom left or bottom right. Um, uh, when it's going through the, the greys, um, not really noticing any any additional banding or anything um, from one of my previous videos but just before I actually started this what I have noticed is just on that particular screen um, it does um, as, as you switch from the, the black through to to actually click on the icons there does tend to be a tiny little bit of image retention just between those two screens but it's because on this particular test the, the white I believe is one of the first colors that actually comes up it tends to clear out pretty quickly anyway so Nothing, as you can see from these, I mean, there's nothing really along the bottom or anything that's that's being retained. So um, that's probably just just a little little bug or something that possibly um, just to do with certain content, probably, um, and also the app that you're in because I've, I've never actually noticed that when I've been using. Um, either the YouTube or any of the other like Netflix and stuff like that anywhere where you've got a grid icon I don't, I've not really noticed it on any other applications it's only with the internal built-in built YouTube app um, so I'm not sure if that's something to do with the fact that that's the the actual 4k one whereas the one on the Apple TV is obviously 1080p so possibly something something to do with that but as I say it clears out pretty quickly and I've never actually noticed it during content anyway not during gaming not during TV shows um, sports or anything like that and also not during movies either All seems to look very clear. Um, isn't really any vignetting or anything like that. Um, no data screen effect that I can notice. Um, any worse than what it probably originally had when it first first arrived. As, as I said, from when I first unboxed it and ran, ran this for the very first time, I think if anything the screen's probably cleared up a little bit. Um, I did actually run the pixel refresher once um, in the background when it when I first received it. Um, as I said in uh, my previous videos, I wouldn't really recommend doing that on a regular basis, but I just wanted to see if that made any difference. And I think originally I may have had a few more vertical banding lines um, when it first arrived, and it did seem to me, I mean, it could just be a placebo effect, but it did seem to clear that up. And obviously it's got to the point where I don't feel the need to ever actually run it again. That's why um, I wouldn't personally run it on this set and I wouldn't recommend anybody else to do it until um, they, they actually see a problem or they, they start to see the starting points of a problem. But as I've mentioned in other videos, I mean, to get to that, that stage, I mean, this TV is pretty much gaming to, uh, most of the week. So if, if a TV is being used for gaming primarily, um, then and it's showing no signs of burning, no image retention, nothing. Um, 
after 15 weeks and that's the majority of the usage as well as sports and when uh, I first received it then uh, to be honest I mean depending on your setup obviously mine I've catered towards trying to make it as safe as possible but I, I will imagine there to be many issues unless you're, you're literally abusing it and you, you're just leaving it on a static logo for hours on end. I think this actual test is around six minutes so we're probably coming up towards the end of the actual test now. Blue's all clear, cyan, through to green. The green probably shows a little bit more of a, just on that particular slide, it was a little bit more vignetting towards the, the edges. Well, yellow seems pretty good. 